Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. DeSmith here. I'm here today to tell you about math mountains and tiny tumblers. They go together. So this is what a math mountain looks like. And notice at the top is the number six. Math mountains are named by their numbers. So this is the sixth math mountain. And on top of the sixth math mountain live six tiny tumblers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. They match six tiny tumblers on six math mountain. And our job today is to practice taking some of, some of the tiny tumblers to this side of Math Mountain and all of the others go to the other side. That's the rule about Math Mountains. So I'm following along on page 416. This is the worksheet that we'll be practicing on today. It says, draw tiny tumblers on the Math Mountains. So on the first example, five of the tiny tumblers went this way. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring them down one, two, three, four, five, and all of the others. The rule is that all of the others go to the other side. So what we see is one, two, three, four, five. We name the map mountain by putting the number five at the bottom of this side and the number one on the other because we have one tiny tumbler over here. So we could write an equation to tell the story five plus one equals six. Okay, let's do it again. We're gonna come over here. Notice in this example, there aren't any tiny tumblers drawn. We have to do that ourselves. So it tells us, okay, let's start with the six on the top again. Clear our board. This time, four went to the left. One, two, three, four. And two went to the other side. I know this because um, part of the work has been done for us. So we have four here and two here. What your job will be, would be to draw the tiny tumblers. So let's pretend that I drew four here and two here. We, we need to write our equation four plus two equals six. This time, I'm going to take away our tiny tumblers. Okay, so I'll have to do all the drawing myself. We're here, we're still on Math Mountain 6, where we have six tiny tumblers, and we learn that three tiny tumblers went this way, and three tiny tumblers went this way, and my job is to just represent the groups. So it's one, two, three, and on this side, one, two, three. Notice three plus three equals six. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? We're gonna do another example, but we're going to move from the six math mountain to the 10 math mountain to show you that it will work for all numbers. Okay, so we're gonna clear our board, and this time we're gonna start with 10. We're gonna name our math mountain 10, and we'll have 10 tiny tumblers. We'll have them in groups of five. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So 10 tiny tumblers on the math mountain of 10. They told us in the first example that nine went this way. We're gonna have to 
make a bigger mat fountain to accommodate all of those tiny tumblers. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then all of the others came this way. Okay, so we have nine plus one equals 10. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all of my tiny tumblers, all 10 of them, and we're going to have to draw the partners of 10. This one tells me that eight and two are partners of 10. So we're still on 10, and all I have to do is represent these partners. I start at the bottom of the math mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on this side, I'll draw two. One and two. Eight plus two equals 10. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is go to your math packet and find um, 4-16 where they ask you to draw tiny tumblers on math mountains. Okay, so you can follow this example. Some have been done for you. And when you're all done, you can practice writing numbers 1 through 50. Thank you for um, watching and have fun with your math. Bye.